Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be finding out about two very exciting pulp and tissue projects at Brussels Lentois Polista Mill in Brazil. We will be hearing about Project Star for pulp and Project Tissue for, you guessed it, tissue. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. Brussels Project Tissue is a benchmark for efficiency, quality and environmental performance in the global industry. It has been built right next to one of the world's largest and most sustainable pulp mills, Brussels Lençois Polista Mill in Brazil. The so-called Project Star switches easily between production of craft pulp and dissolving pulp according to the market demand and delivers free steam, power and slush fibre directly to the tissue mill next door. A perfect location. For both projects, Andrix was chosen as EPCC supplier and supplied engineering, procuring, constructing and civil constructing of the plants. For Project Star, Andrit's scope of supply included the complete wood processing plant, the world's largest recovery boiler, two hardwood fibre lines, two pulp drying systems, and the world's largest non-condensable gas treatment system. The focus was the use of side streams in the recovery cycle. For Project Tissue, Andrit's delivered four prime line tissue machines. Today we have invited Marcelo Montanhez de Lima from Brussels, who is the Tissue Project Senior Manager. We've also invited Rafael Sotoli, Director of Operations from Andritz, and Klaus Bletchinger, Vice President of Tissue, also from Andritz, to tell us about these two impressive projects. Gentlemen, great to have you with us. So let's have a look at Project Star first. Marcelo, can you please tell us about this benchmark pulp mill? We start in 2018, the STAR project. That's a very uh, challenging project to produce 3 million tons per year of craft pulp and design also for dissolving pulp. So we have two parallel lines that can produce either craft or dissolving. So we did a project that put everything in balance, from wood yard to dry machine, chemical plant, recovery boiler. So design is quite different for regular project. Once the solving craft process are quite different, so we combine uh, all the possibilities. We have also some guidelines from the group. The group asked for the the biggest pulp mill and the greenest uh, plant. The reason that we are using no fossil fuel in the in the plant, we have a wood gasification to to uh, produce gas to lime kill and emission are very below the environmental permit in Sao Paulo state, including nitrogen emission and no X in lime kill. And also, we are very low in water consumption. So, that plant is really uh, a combination of all the best technology, process, environmental, and it allows a very good performance. Excellent, Marcelo. Can you tell us about the advantages of the location of the mill in Sao Paulo State in Brazil? <clears throat> Sao Paulo site is. The countryside is the area that forest has the biggest growth productivity in Brazil because of soil and rain combination. Also the genetic forest we have. So we have very good forest productivity. We are in the location that we have good roads, railroads, almost close to the port by train. So we strategically is a really important site and now for paper it again the site will be strategic once we are very close to the main final consumer in in brazil so the main 
market is in São Paulo capital, that we are 300 kilometers. The second market is São Paulo countryside, where we are located at. So it allowed us to have some good uh, advantage in the business. Excellent. Project Star looks like an immense and interesting project when it comes to fiber line technology, as well as to environmental standards. Marcelo, uh, staying with you, can you please tell us about the challenge of Project Star? Star Project had many, many challenges that we overcome. The first one is the size of the, the mill. So we reach the biggest production in the market. Also, the greenest project as possible, and a combination of crafty and the solving pulp. Then, in the sequence, of course, the fossil free uh, energy matrix that also we did by gas gasifier installation in before the lime kiln. Then, the sequence of the Commissioning startup and to put this giant in operation was really amazing. And and from project or from the let's say the first purchase order that was the cover boiler to the startup, we are talking about 24 months. Most of the equipment never manufactured before, big like this. So, excellent. Thank you very much, Marcelo. Um, Rafael, moving on to you. Can you tell us your experience of the STAR project from the Andritz point of view? Uh, project STAR was one, one of the largest and most sustainable pulp mills in the world. So, operate with this highest environment standards. But uh, in addition to the, to the reference that we, it's already solid from our side, with this high capacity wood process plant, the largest pulp mills uh, in the world, the largest uh, recovery boilers in the world, uh, and it's using the self developed A complex continuous uh, craft and solve pulp technology. This technology enables to switch from craft to dissolving in a very short time and keeping the production in a high level. Excellent, Rafael. Great. It sounds like a really interesting project. Um, do you have any comments about the execution of the project and the teamwork with Brussel? Yeah, the teamwork with Brussel is it's excellent uh, since the design phase, since we have started to discuss about the project. Uh, always proactivity, discuss about the possibilities of improvements and cooperation to optimize the result. Doesn't matter the issue and who was the main part in charge of the tasks, the discussion was always in a proactive way. Now, with this behavior and that we have been uh, really combined the expertise from both sides, we have run and conclude the project in time, uh, even with the pandemic time that we have with the COVID, and have a startup in a very fast uh, learning curve, reaching the top quality of pulp production. Thank you, Rafael. That was really good. Next to the pulp mill, Brussel decided to build the world's largest and greenest tissue mill with four of the latest prime line tissue machines from Andritz, which will be starting up later this year. The mill is set to become a benchmark for efficiency, quality, and environmental performance in the global industry. Marcelo, back to you. Uh, could you tell us why it was so efficient to build the tissue mill next to the pulp mill? We use pulp by pipeline, steam produced from the wood, and power that came also from the steam generating the mill and also power from solar panels. We are installing the biggest solar panel project in America on the roof of the, of the building. So again, we are going for a very greenest uh, paper production. Thank you. Sounds like the perfect location, Marcelo. 
Moving on to Klaus, can you tell us why it's a win-win situation for Brussels and Andritz to implement this project together? First of all, Andritz and the RGE Group had already a globally very well-working cooperation. Because of that, the, the repetition factor and this proven high performance uh, really represents an, a significant advantage for both. Then I think uh, the, the EPCC, this is uh, something which definitely is uh, a win-win for both parties because it saves a lot of resources uh, also for Brazil, I think, uh, in the execution of the project and uh, uh, contains a lot of responsibility more beyond whatever has been done on the Android side. And I think that lets both companies grow in a significant way. Uh, one important factor, as uh, Marcelo already mentioned, and also Raphael, uh, that both companies have uh, basically their uh, focus on CO2 footprint reduction and on sustainability. And I think uh, uh, we can uh, proudly claim that this is one of the most sustainable installations in tissue which we have been uh, realizing. So this is something... Uh, uh, very important for both companies. And last but not least, uh, a win win uh, for both uh, parties definitely is, is also the, the strong local presence of, of Andritz in Brazil, which uh, definitely supports the project uh, in a very high uh, manner. Great. Thank you, Klaus. But what sets Andritz Primeline technology apart from other tissue machine manufacturers? What uh, differs us... Uh, or sets the primeline technology a part of other tissue machine manufacturers is also our steam hood technology uh, combined with our Android steel link is in this also in combination with the shoe presses um, which really reduce then the energy consumption to an utmost low level. Another really good factor for our primeline technology is uh, which brings us forward is our uh, stock preparation. And I think uh, in this area, we anyhow are the market leader globally. And uh, this supports also the optimal op operation of the tissue machine because fiber development is something really important for the operation and, and the final quality of the paper, which should be produced. Thanks, Klaus. Um, could you also tell us a, a little bit more about the environmental benefits of Primeline technology? Yeah, I think uh, the environmental benefits start already in the stock preparation, where we try to refine with a very low energy consumption and try to decrease also the energy consumption of the stock preparation system, which is quite intensive in that area already. And uh, goes on with our double dilution concept for further for, for energy reduction. And uh, then definitely if we go further to the tissue machine itself, it's the, the usage of the steam and uh, the tissue machines being integrated with the pulp mill, using the steam from the pulp mill uh, and uh, instead of using gas. So also the entire drying process uh, is uh, definitely uh, a benefit of those uh, specific uh, tissue machines. And then, as I said before, combined with the shoe press, uh, uh, the, the, the Yankee, uh, the steel Yankee, uh, in that area, we are definitely the leading supplier. And uh, all that, again, for energy reduction, what we also tried in that uh, installation is to have uh, an utmost closed water loop system in order to reduce the, the freshwater consumption to a, a very low level. And uh, last but not least, we believe also with the use of the of the matrix, we can also uh, significantly reduce the fiber losses. So I think this is a, th those are the, the most benefits of uh, this uh, installation, yeah. Thank you, Klaus. Marcelo, moving back to you, Project Tissue is one of the largest orders in the tissue industry and the largest for Andritz. Can you tell us about the progress of the tissue project? We are we are now we are on track in the project. The 
entire project include all the connection with the pub mill and also converting lines and also the logistics. So Andres represent the main part of the project, let's say 60, 65%. Uh, that's on track, a little bit ahead of the, the, the schedule. That's really good. Uh, we are very proud that we are in the, in the project. Uh, we are going close to 2 million hours, working hours without any accident. So this is really good for us. And quality of the project is, is good. No deviation so far. And we are now looking for the startup. Excellent. Thank you very much. And one final question, Marcelo. Can you tell us why Andritz was chosen for the projects? And you also mentioned a positive surprise. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. reason is that Andritz worked very well on EPC C contract model. So uh, all the reference in the market and Star Project also was a very good reference. And Beside that, we have our proven technology supplier, no doubt about that. And also, Andres uh, accepted the challenge to do equipment never did before, big like that. So let's talk about the COVID body. That's un a unique, a really good surprise. It was the first dissolving grade campaign that was really, really perfect. So we had no loss, no plugging, no stop, no production losses. So it was much better than the best optimist scenario we, we planned. Thank you, gentlemen, for the excellent discussion and telling us all about these amazingly interesting projects at Brussel. The Brussel Star Project, as well as the Tissue Project, were challenging orders for Andritz, especially concerning the size of the projects and the environmental standards. But with good cooperation of the two companies and excellent teamwork, the projects went very smoothly. To find out more about Project Star and Project Tissue, please visit our website. The address is in the show notes of this podcast. Thanks very much for listening and goodbye.